one one specific thing was this uh there's this girl in Sri Lanka it said uh, a toddler one day overheard her mother mentioning the name of an obscure town Kataragama that the girl had never been to the girl informed the mother that she had drowned there when her dumb mentally challenged brother pushed her in the river that she had a bald father named Herath who sold flowers in a market near the Buddhist stupa that she lived in a house that had a glass window in the roof a skylight dogs in the backyard that were tied up and fed meat and the house was next to our next door to a big hindu temple outside of which people smashed coconuts on the ground stevenson was was uh, able to confirm later that there was indeed a flower vendor in kataragama who ran a small stall near buddhist stupa yeah. whose two-year-old daughter had drowned in the river while the girl played with her mentally challenged brother the man lived in a house where the neighbors threw meat to the dogs tied up in their backyard and it was adjacent to the main temple where the devotees practiced their religious religious ritual of smashing coconuts on the ground. The little girl did get a few items wrong, however. For instance, the dead girl's dad wasn't bald, but her grandfather and uncle were. His name wasn't Harath. That was the name, rather, of the dead girl's cousin. Otherwise, everything else was, you know, pretty accurate. And it, but he, that makes it all the more believable because memory isn't incredibly accurate that way, right? We get, yeah, the fact that it is a little... wires crossed, it's a little askewed. It yeah. actually makes it that much more... Because if it was exactly right, yeah. yeah, it'd be a little more like, eh, I don't know. 